Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can replace VLOOKUP with Power Query. And why we are going to do that? Because we are dealing with more than 2 million rows in a CSV file. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss an exercise, which is a sales report by category and region. During the video, we are going to learn how we can blend data from more than one table using merge and append and how we can add custom columns to calculate formulas and how we can summarize the query using group by and how we can load our information into pivot tables and finally when new information comes how we can auto process without reprocessing all or redoing all the steps again and again let's start with having a quick look at the files that we are going to work with we have two sales files one for 2016 and one for 17 both are in csv format they are not excel sheets and you can see there is more than 41 uh, megabytes in each file because each one of them contains more than a million row uh, we are going to use also this excel workbook it's uh, just um, excel sheet containing the mapping or the lookup uh, files uh, it has it contains the product information and the region information now we are on the excel i'm going to select the data ribbon uh, from menus and on the left hand side i'm going to use the power query which you can find on the get and transform section on the left hand side so directly i'm going to get data and then from file and from workbook and i'm going to select the mapping tables or the lookup tables and then click on import a navigation uh, window will open if you look here uh, this is the objects that i have inside the excel uh, workbook there is two objects actually it's two sheets product lookup and region lookup if i select any one of them it will give you a quick preview on the data inside and i want to select both so i'm going to uh, check this box uh, upstairs here select multiple items and here i can check this one and check this one as well and i have two options either to load or transform you can load directly but i prefer that you click on transform data and this will open the power query editor once the power query editor launched you can see on the left hand side the two queries created uh, one query for each sheet one for the region lookup and one for the product lookup you can toggle between them i can select the product lookup and i can preview the data here and i can select the region lookup and i can preview the data here on the right hand side you can see the query settings it starts with the name of the query and then you can see the applied steps and let's look at the applied steps quickly uh, there's four steps generated automatically by the uh, power query first one is the source if i select the source here is the source the three objects that found inside the uh, excel sheet second one the navigation when we uh, pointing to the region uh, lookup uh, sheet it selected the content of this sheet which is the region and region id the region name and region id uh, and you can see here the first row contains the headers the first row promote promoted to be the headers of the columns and last one excel tried to be smart enough to detect the uh, data types and he changed the data types he selected abc or uh, text for the um, for the region name and one two three or whole number for uh, region id and uh, i can change what uh, i can change this type myself so i can select this uh, uh, icon here so i can see all the data types so now i'm ready to uh, close and load but let's look at take a quick look also on the product lookup uh, same applied steps source navigation promotion of the headers and then change type all types is okay for me so i'm now ready to close and load from home ribbon you can uh, select close and load and please always use close and load too and it will open a small navigation window for you to ask you exactly where you want to load your data i can load it into table pivot table pivot chart or only create connection and this is what i'm going to select i'm going to press on ok and you can see here a small uh, pane on the hand uh, on the right hand side opened uh, and here is the two queries that I just 
uh, created and its connection only uh, now i'm going to bring the information related to the sales so again from data ribbon uh, get data and from file this time from text or csv file and it will open the browser i can see the two options here sales 2016 and 17 i'm going to start with 16 import it will open also the navigation pane i'm going to use a transform button to launch the power query editor from the power query editor i can see the preview of my data here the new query the three queries now the two lookups and the one for the sales and on the right hand side i can see the name and the applied steps i want to change the name i will leave it only sales so i'm going to select this um, uh, 2016 backspace 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 and then enter now i have the name changed and i have the types i can review the types all the numbers is with the one to three type and i have one column with date it's date no problem i can check here even i can select and check from uh, home data type is date it's very good and uh, this discount in percentage and you can see the percentage icon and the quantity one to three all is very good uh, now i want to just select the information that i'm going to use i'm going to use the discount i will select from the header and then press control i need the quantity also i select the quantity i need the date i need the region id because i'm going to report by region and also i need the product id i don't need the rest of the columns so i'm going to home and from remove columns i will select the arrow down here and remove other columns now i have only the five columns that i'm going to use now i have in this sales file i have only the region id and i have here a region lookup table contain the region id and the um, the region name so i want to bring this region name inside the sales um, uh, sales table so i can report by region and this is exactly what i'm doing when i use the uh, vlookup so in this case i'm going to use merge queries so from sales i'm going to home ribbon and from home merge queries once i select merge queries it will open the merge window and it will have it will have uh, two sections the first section the upper section containing a preview of the active table that i'm already using now and downside of the window will ask you exactly what you want to merge with so i'm going to select the region lookup from the drop down menu and it will give you a preview for this table and i need to identify the fields that are going to match between the two tables for this case the region id from sales and region id from the region lookup and you can see here the excel is estimating the matches based on the data preview you can see 1 million 48 thousand matches uh, so now the excel finished and i can press in okay on okay and you can see a new column created and inside this column each cell inside this column containing a table if i select the empty space here i can see the content of the of this table you can see when it matches the uh, region id 3006 with the region id 3006 i can find the region is sinai but i want i don't want to see this table here i want just to take the region information inside this column and this is very easy i can just select these two arrows from uh, the header of this column when i press on this i'm telling power query i want to expand the um, selection so um, i need only the it will open this window and from this window i can select the information that i need and uh, in this case i need only the region and don't forget to uncheck use original column as prefix because it will uh, longer your uh, uh, your uh, column title and you don't need to do that and then i'm going to press on ok and you can see now i have the region information came to the sales uh, table so now i want also uh, go to the product uh, lookup table and bring some information i need the product category and also i need the, the price because i need to calculate the sales value inside the sales transaction table so i'm going to select again the sales transaction table and uh, i'm going to home ribbon and merge queries i will select it will open the uh, merge uh, query uh, window in the upper hand in the upper side you can see the preview of the sales table 
and in the below side it will ask you what table you want to merge with i want to merge with the uh, product lookup and where is the match i want to match the product id with the product id again it matches the entire uh, the entire table 1 million records more than 1 million records i can press on ok the new column will be uh, created i can expand uh, the field that i want i need only the price and category i will press on ok now i have all the information ready so i can start to calculate the sales value i need a new column because you can see here i have the discount i have the quantity and i have now the price i bring it from the um, product lookup table now i want to add a new column and calculate the sales value so from add columns i'm going to select custom columns it will open the custom column window the first question i need to answer is what is the name of the column so i'm going to use sales value as a name and then i'll press on tap so i can come to this big window and i start to write my formula i want to start with the quantity i can see all the field on the right hand side here so select the quantity and you can press on insert and then you can type multiply by and then you need the price it's down here you can e either select insert or double click and it will come here in the window and then i want to multiply it by one minus discount open bracket one minus discount is up here so i will select insert close the parentheses and press on ok and you can see a new column created containing the sales value based on my calculation and you can see the type here is mix or you can call it any if you check from home the data type is any and the symbol is abc123 i want to be i want to be very precise so i'm going to select the icon here and i'm going to select decimal number the icon will change to 1.2 meaning that there is a decimal numbers inside this column now i'm ready uh, to start my reporting but i want to tie up my data uh, first so i don't need the price now i have my calculation i don't need these two codes no need for them and also no need for the quantity or the discount i select all of them and remove columns now i have only four columns the date region and category and then the sales value the last thing that i want to do here is to summarize and i can do that uh, uh, using the group by function so i'm going to select the date press on shift and select category so now i selected the three columns i can go to home and group by and it will open the group by window and by default it gives you the three columns that you selected already so it's going to any recurring of date region and category together it will going to summarize uh, them and uh, it will use a new column because uh, you can see here i didn't select the sales value so it will not take the sales value it will not uh, generate the sales value again but it will going to replace it with a new column the new column i want to call it again sales value and what operation in this new column the new operation will be sum the default is count but i want to do a submission so i'll select the sum from the drop down menu and sum on which column for sure it will be the sales value so at any occurrence at any recurrence of these three things together the date region and category please uh, do a summation to the column uh, sales value inside a new column and call it sales value this is exactly what group by will do i'm going to select group by now we are ready to load the data to the excel and i'm going to use close and load and i have to use close and load to to select my option because the default it will load to a table but in this case i want to load it to a pivot table report and i'm going to use the existing worksheet and let's go to let's say b2 and then i'm going to select ok a uh, pivot table will be generated you can see now we have three queries two connection only which is the lookup tables and one is the sales and now it's loaded and you can see it's loaded into a pivot table and you can see the pivot table feed list here and you can see the one million rows or month more than one million rows now summarized to 10,000 rows only because we use the group by now i can start to work on my report i'm going to close this for the moment um, 
whenever I start with uh, doing a report in a pivot table report, if I have dates, I start always with the dates inside the rows. So you can see all the dates listed here because I'm going to um, report by month or by year. So I want to group these dates. I'm going to right click and use group. And I want to group by month and year. I'm going to select month, control and select years. When you press OK, you can see here the 2016 year and the 12 month. Now I can put my sales value into the values. I want to do some uh, number formatting. Right click, number formatting. I'm going to use currency, zero decimal places. OK, I can put the categories in the columns. So I have the report by category now. And for region, I'm going to right click and add as a slicer. You can see here a slicer for the categories. So when now the report is ready, if I select Alex, it will change the report, remove the filter. And now you have your report ready. The last thing that you need to do now is to add 2017. To start loading the data for 2016, I'm going to uh, data ribbon again from the power query section get and transform get file from text or csv i'm going to select 2017 now import the navigation pane will open transform data power query editor will launch once the power query editor launched i can see the preview of the 2017 uh, sales uh, table uh, it's here in the name and the three steps automatically done the source promotion of the headers and then the change of the types everything is okay i can just now close and load two i will select from the home ribbon close and load close and load two and i will select again only a connection once i did that you can see here i have four tables or four queries three as connection and one is the sales what i want to do now is take the sales 2017 and append it inside the sales so i can see the two years together so i'm going to edit here i can just double click it will reopen the uh, relaunch the power query editor and i can see here uh, my four queries on the left hand side so i can see here the three steps the the three steps up to the change uh, type if i go back to sales on the right hand side i can see also the three steps if i select here the change type at this moment the two tables are identical so here i'm going to insert a step to append this sales uh, table with the 2017 uh, sales i'm going to do this from the home ribbon and this time append queries it will open uh, it will give you a warning i'm going to uh, insert a step yes i want to insert a step i will press on insert and it will open a dialog box the append query dialog box and i'm going to select 2017 to append here once i click ok it will bring you can see a step inserted here it will bring all the information through from 2017 and put it down here and it will perform all the changes that i did here up to the grouping i did to the uh, information i can just go to close and load and close this and you will see the sales uh, query will be reloaded loading finished you can see now the new information coming here 2016 and 2017 down here with few clicks i can close this and you can see the slicer is working with the two years everything is working perfectly by now we reach the end of our video i hope that was useful for you thank you very much for your time and see you in next videos and bye